I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend His cause. Maintain the honors of His word, the glory of His cross. Hello, I am James Brown, and on behalf of the East End Church of Christ, located in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to welcome you to our Sunday question and answer edition of Walking Through the Bible, a podcast where we seek to study the Bible and the Bible alone. Please stick around afterwards for information on how you can contact us. But for now, we'll turn you over to Jeremy Disekamp for our question of the day. Thank you, James, and welcome to all of our viewers. Before we get to today's question, I would like to remind everyone watching that they can submit their own questions to be answered by commenting in the comment section of any one of our videos or emailing your questions to answerintheword at gmail.com. Obviously, not every question can be answered for this podcast, but if such is the case, we'll email you back an answer or respond to your comment in the comment section. Today's question comes from a conversation I had with someone on the phone this past week who asked me if the Bible teaches that Christians have to work. If you read the Bible all the way through, you do find that men and women are to work. In Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 through 19, we find that part of the curse that God placed on men for eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil was men would have to work for their food. In Proverbs chapter 31, we find that the virtuous woman did various kinds of work for her household. But perhaps one of the most famous verses about work is found in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10, which says, For even when we were with you, we would give you this command, If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. From this verse, many teach that men and women have to work, and that if you don't work, you're sinning and you shouldn't eat. Usually this goes hand in hand with teaching that it is sinful to receive a welfare check from the government if you can't find a job or that it is sinful to retire. But is that what this verse is teaching? For sure, this verse is teaching that in general, Christians should work for their food, but we must examine the context in full in order to understand what Paul is talking about. If you read the book of 2 Thessalonians, you will learn that because the Thessalonians thought that Jesus would be returning in their lifetime, this belief caused them to be lazy and to start mooching off of their neighbor. Paul had to correct this in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 8, telling them not to be lazy, but to work for their food. That is the context of 2 Thessalonians 3.10. Don't be lazy, work for your food. And if you are lazy and won't work, you shouldn't eat. This verse is not talking about people who are unable to work because of age, mental or physical inability, or lack of jobs in the area you live in. It is a fact of life that sometimes we will be unable to work, and in those times it is not wrong to seek help. If we live in a country that provides welfare for the unemployed, it is not wrong to receive that help. But the scriptures are also filled with passages telling Christians to help out those who are in need. One such passage is Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, which says, So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. There is no exceptions placed on this help. If we have opportunity, we're to help those in need. That's following Christ's teaching that we're to love our neighbor as ourselves. But 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10 also isn't teaching that it's wrong to retire as long as we can support ourselves. If a person or a couple has been blessed by God and is able to save up for retirement, or if they've been fortunate enough to have a job that provides a pension, it is not wrong to retire. Now, it is wrong to retire and then become lazy and mooch off others, but let's remember that retired people can do great things in the advancement of the gospel because they now have the extra time that working people do not. Let's not, therefore, discourage that. On the whole, however, in normal circumstances, the Bible does teach us to work. This podcast, though, should serve as a warning when teaching that we shouldn't take verses out of context to teach things that they don't teach. The topic of conversation in 2 Thessalonians 3.10 is laziness, and it is in that context that Paul says, if you won't work, you shouldn't eat. 
To use this verse to teach that it is sinful to take welfare if you can't work, or to retire, is making this verse say something that it does not say. Teaching this way is wrong, and it shouldn't be done by Christians, but especially by preachers of God's Word. Well, I'm sure much more could be said on this topic, but for now, our time is up. Please listen to this week's sermon titled, Foolishness, which James will give instructions on where to find in a moment. And join us, the Lord willing, tomorrow, when we will be continuing our study of the book of Genesis, beginning at Genesis chapter 2, verse 4. Thank you, Jeremy. And to our viewers, we also thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Should you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email us at answerintheword at gmail.com. We'll try to respond to you as quickly as we can. We hope you'll also be watching today's sermon edition, which can be found on our YouTube channel on the Walking Through the Word Bible 2017 Sermons playlist. Please also join us, Lord's willing, tomorrow when we will be continuing our study on the book of Genesis. Goodbye for now, and have a great day. I'm not ashamed to